how do you teach consent, right? First of all, let's understand the concept of consent. It has to be mutual, it has to be willing, it has to be clear, and it can be ongoing and can be withdrawn at any point. It's very important to teach consent from an early age so that as you mature, as you grow, it's embedded in you and then you know how to you know, um, handle consent, not just doing sexual activities, but across all aspects of your life. For teaching consent in children, it's okay to use age-appropriate languages. For example, teach children boundaries, tell them the parts of their bodies, what should be touched and what should not be touched, and encourage them to speak up when they feel abused. So if they do not even know what is normal and what is abnormal or what is allowed and what is not allowed, they would not know when to report. So very importantly, age-appropriate and early sexual education at home and even at schools. Because these days, um, a lot of girls have been abused because they do not even know what's happening to their bodies. So sex education in schools, sex education in the homes, and also in the communities. For adults, some adults still do not know what consent is all about. Consent means no. Consent means I do not want this. No means no. And even when I have given my consent before the act, I can withdraw consent at any time. When it comes to consent and rape, you need to understand four factors. One, there should be no coercion. It should be willing. Two, when it comes to age, for a minor, minors cannot give consent. Three, when you are incapable, it means that if you are intoxicated, if you are unconscious, if you cannot verbalize your consent, then that is not consent. And four, it should be devoid of any coercion, whether verbal or physical. So for the 16 days of activism, it is very important that we protect our girls, we protect ourselves. Education is very important. Let us join hands together and educate. Learn and unlearn concepts of rape and consent, okay? And also, do not shame victims of rape. Do not shame victims of sexual abuse because if they can't speak up, if they are not protected, and if they feel that they will be shamed for speaking up, they will not speak up. And also laws and policies surrounding or guiding rape should be revisited and made to protect the girls and the women. And also, if you know any organization that is supporting this cause against sexual abuse or gender-based violence, please support them.